hi everyone in this tutorial we are going to make something like this image from that image and that is the original image and we are going to just make that image with more intensive and beautiful color and highlight and that all will be possible only with two tools and that are dodge tool and burn tool let's see how we are going to apply that one in this lesson in this lesson we are going to learn about uh, dodge tool and we have dodge tool burn tool and we are going to just learn that what is the purpose of that tool and how effectively we are going to work with that two tools now selecting the dodge tool and we have an option bar uh, selection bar and there are the range which is me tunes right now we have selected shadow and highlight uh, what is shadow if i'm going to just select or let me just little bit zoom in and select my dodge tool and now if i going to just do some work let me do Control z and bring that and duplicate that one and now we are just going to come here and as you are just looking that the effect is only applying on the shadow because we have selected shadow and the highlight is as it is in its original form now let me just press ctrl z and you can see the change there it is only applying on shadow and highlight is as it is and if you want to change or the effect should be applied on the highlight then you may select highlight and now we are just going to apply this one now you can check that it has a little bit more in test value and it applies everywhere now let me once again just decrease the value with 13 and you can check that we have a very highlighted version here and if i just move my cursor to hair or to the eyebrow then you can see check that it is very dark therefore that part is not affecting at all and we are just affecting those area which are highlighted and now you can check the difference from here and that is what we call that highlight now what is me tune me tune effect both highlight and shadow at the same time now applying and using that one you can see that now everything is changing at the same time and we can also just applying the effect both in shadow and highlight as well now we can control that effect by uh, range which we have shadow me tunes and highlight for now i select me tune and we have exposure it means that it is the strength of that effect which we are applying right right now which we have 13 and i'm applying here now let me once again check that and bring it to 50 now you can check that it has more intense effect in this model right now let me just again press ctrl z and let me change to more 95 percent now you can check that it has again more intense value from the 50 and we can check that and you can see the difference here you can control the exposure and you are going to just do whatsoever you are going to do and we have also brushes and you can just apply different brushes from here and we have all default brushes but we are not just applying different brushes we have right now that brush and just close that one and now let's just apply some effect on that one and make that image or portrait to be more powerful and to be more beautiful and more amazing effect while applying with dodge tool and burn tool now let me just apply some effect here with dodge tool uh, I want to just make some intense value here. Let me just decrease the value to be 17 maybe or maybe a little bit more less. Okay, now we can also increase the size of brush by coming here 
and we can just change the brush size or you can just apply the shortcut where we have the brackets if you are applying the right bracket then it will just increase the size of the brush if you apply the left bracket key then it will decrease the brush and you can adjust the brush uh, while just pressing the right bracket key or left bracket key now let me just make some adjustment here as well and let me zoom a little bit from here and we are going to apply some highlight here as well and we just make some adjustment everywhere here as well and some highlight to be here and we are going to apply some highlight here in lips as well now we just little bit zoom it out and we are just going to make some adjustment here as well and as you can see now first we have the duplicate of that layer now let me just hide that one you can see that is the original one and that is after highlighted version now if you see a lot of highlight here then what you will do you will come here and just select burn tool and burn tool will just reduce the highlight which you have here now if you want to reduce the highlight then you just burn it out and it will just decrease the highlight and i want there to be more dark value then i can just change here as well and same we want there to be a little bit more dark value and maybe here to be a little bit more and you can see that the texture is also visible and very nice it is looking right now and we have same me tunes highlight and shadow everything is same with exposure but the difference is uh, in our dodge tool we just increase the highlight and in burn tool we just decrease the highlight and uh, we just dark the shadow or dark area with burn tool now see how we are going to apply the burn tool let me just increase my canvas size and now if i want to change that uh, eyebrow then let me just select shadow and we are just dark that one as well and if you want dark the eyelashes then we can apply that one and we can also use that by applying to hair and you can dark that hair as much as you want and here we are going to dark that area as well now see how the burn tool is working very nicely and if i just hired the one which we have applied the dodge tool or the burn tool now you can see the original and that is the original and that is after we have applied the burn tool or the dodge tool okay now let me just a little bit work more while using the highlight and and that is what you are going to use your highlight and burn tool in this image or any portrait or anywhere where you want more intense intensive shadow or highlight in your image then you can do it as it is now see how beautifully it is looking very nice right now with more intensive highlight and lighting and shadow something like this one